Um, well, what we did is we went agency by agency to look at what we needed to do to keep the um, current employment that they have, um, take money out that they might have from vacancy savings already through the year and what that would be through the rest of the year, and then um, and in each and in different program areas um, without trying to cut critical services more than any more than two percent. We went through every um, agency. Um, each budget, and then we said, okay, they can go, say, up to a 3% cut um, before they would have to lay somebody off or do a furlough day. And then we go to the next agency, and maybe they could go to a 5% cut before they would need a layoff or a furlough day. And then, after we set those percentages, then we apply the furlough days on a statewide basis. So we said then we could do five furlough days for uh, 10 to $11 million savings on top of it. But that was the only way to do it um, equitably, because some agencies would have to do, you know, 10 or 15 for low days if you just handed them a straight percentage and said, cut this. If you just went 7.6%. For instance, in DFA, that would have been um, 28 days for my agency because we're mostly people. Now, now uh, in the next uh, revenue, I guess when, when the next revenue estimates come out, uh, now that you guys have these furlough days structured, is, is that something that's going to be on the table? I mean, looking at furthering those furlough days if the revenue projections... Well, I think it depends on what the December revenue estimate is. Um, you know, we have some areas we've seen strength um, above our estimate in oil and natural gas, and that can offset, um, pretty quickly offset the deficit. So I think we're going to just have to see where we are at the next revenue estimate as to what other additional actions we take. Obviously, if the legislature does deauthorize stalled capital, that goes a long way to beefing up the reserves. Um, but those would be things that we would have to look at in uh, January. So, so do things are looking good from where you guys stand right now in December? I think there are some positive signs in some revenue areas, and then, um, but I'm not going to make a, okay. you know, a midstream guess. So that right. That's a pretty detailed process that the uh, estimators go through, but there are some areas that are, are looking better. So, and oil and natural um, gas is one. Okay. Was 20 days uh, from the okay. end of the special session till now enough time for you to put together this plan? Um, it was a lot of work. Um, these are things that during if, um, the legislature had held committee hearings, they would have heard what agencies could um, sustain in the way of cuts without closing a prison, without doing layoffs, without having furloughs. But that didn't happen um, during the special session. So essentially, we did multiple hearings with the agencies over the last 20 days um, to come up to those specific numbers. So it was a lot of work in 20 days.